Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make Annie Ann's pretzels. We'll be making the original pretzel and the cinnamon sugar pretzel. So let's get started with the video. In a large bowl, add one cup of warm milk, specifically 110 degrees warm. Then add one packet of dry active yeast. After that, let the yeast soften in the milk for two minutes. Then stir in three tablespoons of light brown sugar. and one cup of flour. Then stir in two tablespoons of diced softened unsalted butter. Next, add one and one fourth cup of flour and one teaspoon of salt. Once everything is mixed together, set your dough to the side and flour a clean surface. Turn your dough out on the floured surface and then knead. Knead your dough until smooth but slightly tacky. This should take about 5 minutes. When you finish kneading your dough, shape it into a ball. Then lightly grease a large bowl and place your dough into the bowl. Cover the bowl in plastic wrap and then let it rise in a warm spot for about an hour until it has doubled in size. While the dough is rising, we're gonna make our dipping sauces for our pretzels. In a bowl, add 1 4th cup of mayonnaise, 1 4th cup of Dijon mustard, 3 tablespoons of light brown sugar, and a half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Mix all these ingredients together until well combined. When you're finished, cover the bowl in plastic wrap and then place it in the fridge. This will be our mustard sauce for our original soft pretzels. Next we're going to make the cream cheese sauce for our cinnamon pretzels. In a bowl, beat 4 ounces of softened cream cheese. Then add 2 tablespoons of softened butter. Once you've mixed the cream cheese and butter together, gradually add 1 cup of powdered sugar.
Then add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Don't forget to scrape down the sides while making the sauce. Finally, add 2 tablespoons of heavy cream. When you're finished mixing everything together, cover the bowl in plastic wrap and place it in the fridge. After one hour and your dough has risen, take the plastic wrap off the bowl. Then punch the dough to deflate it. Set your dough to the side and lightly flour a clean surface. Then turn your dough out on that surface and divide the dough into six pieces. Once you've divided your dough, you can begin shaping your pretzels. Roll and stretch each piece with the palm of your hands into a 30 inch rope. Take both ends and twist the rope together, then place it on the counter and shape your pretzel. Add a bit of water under the ends of your pretzel so that it sticks together. This will keep your pretzel from becoming undone. Repeat this process until you've shaped all of your pretzels. With the last piece of dough I had, I decided to make some pretzel bites. Next, add 3 cups of warm water in a shallow baking dish. Then add 1 third cup of baking soda. Mix the baking soda into the water until the baking soda has dissolved. Next, gently dip each pretzel in the baking soda solution. After that, place your pretzel on a baking sheet.
Sprinkle your regular soft pretzels with coarse salt. Now place your pretzels in the oven at 450 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. While your pretzels are baking in a shallow baking dish, add 8 tablespoons of melted butter. In another baking dish, add cinnamon sugar. You can make the cinnamon sugar by mixing a half a cup of sugar and a half a tablespoon of cinnamon together. Once your pretzels are finished baking, dip the hot pretzel in the melted butter. When you finish coating your pretzel in butter, place it on a wire rack and let the excess butter drip off. With the cinnamon sugar pretzel, coat your pretzel in the butter and then place it into the cinnamon sugar. Then coat your pretzel in the cinnamon sugar. When you're finished, place your pretzel on the wire rack. And that's it! You've finished making your original and cinnamon sugar pretzels. Now all you have to do is plate it up and enjoy! And this is the finished result! I'm super happy with these! These pretzels taste just like the ones from Annie Ann's. The sauces were delicious, especially the mustard sauce. Next time I'm gonna try to make the pretzel dogs. Eating these reminded me of when I go to the mall and I would buy a pretzel while waiting for my movie to start. Now I can just make them at home, which is fun. The cinnamon sugar one specifically is my favorite. I would get that all the time. Comment down below which pretzel is your favorite. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!